Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark, and today I'm finally taking my Mustang out to the autocross just to see if these suspension upgrades I've been doing is going to help my times. All right, so if you click on the video up above, you can actually check out some of the stuff I've already done to my Mustang. But just to give you a little bit of rundown, I've done some coilovers, I've done some sway bars, and I got some bigger, stickier tires to put on this car. So I'm going to head out to the autocross track now and see if I can prove my times. All right, so made it out to autocross now. Uh, finally going to try out my new suspension wheels and tires and see how it does. Uh, right now, I'm pretty much just waiting to go through tech inspection. There's a little bit of a line. I'm a little behind. Usually, I'm here a lot earlier. I'm one of the first guys to come in. But hopefully, this will go pretty quick. Uh, I'm running second in the day, so we'll see how that goes. Alright, so we're almost done with the first group of the day and after our quick little break, usually about 15 minutes, I'll finally get to go and do my first runs. Uh, apparently we're only doing three laps a day, which is a little bit of a bummer. I was hoping we'd at least do four, but I don't know. They just made an announcement said that we're doing three, so uh, I'll make the best of it. Hopefully my car improves and I do a little better this time than last time. I guess a bunch of people complained and we're actually doing four laps now. Alright, so I'm done with autocross for the day. I did so much better than I did last time. The suspension upgrades really did make a difference. I will show you guys the results later on, but right now I have a couple of guys that invited me to go see a bike stunt show, so I'm gonna go check that out first. Then back to the autocross tomorrow. <laughs>
All right, so I said I'd show you what the improvement was. This right here is round four, which is the first time, well, three was. So here's three. This is the first time I took the Mustang out and I ended up getting, overall, I got 48th, which I think is pretty bad because there's 61 and there's a whole bunch in front of me. And I did even worse the next day. Uh, let's see, where am I at? I am number 54 out of 73. So there I am, didn't do very good and I have a lot of people ahead of me. But on these autocross, after all my suspension work and my tires and everything like that, I did, here we go. I got number 17 out of 70. So there was even more people out there and I did better. And the next day I did number 19. So. 19th out of 78 which is pretty good so and then just to make sure it wasn't a fluke i've actually gone out to a couple more events here's number seven i ended up getting 11th and on the eighth round i ended up getting 13th right there so just to show you that these suspension components do make a difference especially the tires tires made a big difference but now my times have improved i know i'm doing better i'm doing a lot better than i did in the bmw so definitely gonna keep the mustang as my track car so taking the mustang out the last couple times has been way better than the first time first time i took it out there that thing handled so bad i almost wanted to get rid of it um, it would understeer and push through every corner and every time i'd step on the throttle it would just start to slide around now it's now that i've got some better tires and some better suspension this thing handles like it's on rails it's so much better now, as I talked about in my earlier video, I couldn't put any camber plates on the front of this thing. I am gonna have to order the correct ones, that way I can get a little bit more front camera on this thing so I can corner a little bit harder. Now, I do plan on doing some performance upgrades here soon, so I'm definitely gonna need to get some bigger wheels and tires just so that I can handle the power that I'm gonna be putting down. Hey, if you guys like what you saw, smash that thumbs up button, and if you wanna see more of what I'm doing and some more of my projects I'm working on, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'll also leave my Instagram handle down below. I do post there from time to time. Thank you guys, I will see you next video.